Imagine trying to carry everything you own in a trash bag. It is the sad reality for many foster kids as they move from family to family. So a Chicago attorney and foster child advocate is working to change that. J. Paul Deratani joins us over the phone this morning to talk about his initiative to collect suitcases, duffel bags, backpacks for vulnerable kids. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Sally. So you have worked extensively with foster kids during your work as an attorney. Tell us about the need for something so as simple as a suitcase. I find this just hard to believe they need this. It is hard to believe. And, well, when I started working about 15, 20 years ago, I realized that when I was seeing kids get transferred from home to home and sometimes to a foster care situation, I would see that they are taking their things in a garbage bag. And, frankly, what does that tell you about a child or what does that tell the child is uh, that they feel that they're a piece of garbage. And I just thought that this, that's a, a real need. We could really... Um, by giving them a bag or a duffel bag or a backpack, at least it gives them some feeling that they're wanted, some feeling that they're they're not just simply their things aren't garbage and therefore they're not garbage. Yeah, you said you shared with me that one child said the clear message was that my things were not valuable, and I figured that if my things were not valuable, neither was I. So tell us about this drive as you're trying to get people to donate. Well, there's. Three non-for-profits that are recipients of the drive, Families Helping Families, Chicago Land, uh, One Hope United, and Fill a Heart for Kids. And they're, you know, we can, you can either go to my website cause at www Law Injury, or you can go to Amazon directly and uh, get connected to their wish list and just type in, you know, Families Helping Families or One Hope United. And just, you know, if you could give a duffel bag or a backpack, something that you know that one mm -hmm. of your kids would like. Um, they can use it for school. They can use it to, if, you know, God forbid, they have to go from home to home, which unfortunately is the uh, reality with so many of these different children. Right. So, um, yeah, that, that's the three organizations. I, as we're talking to you, we're showing some pictures of you. People might be wondering why you're with Shaquille O'Neal, but you had a film called Foster Boy that he produced. I mean, you've made it your life's work to help foster kids, haven't you? It is, uh, yeah. Since about, uh, like I said, 15, 20 years ago, when I first got a case involving an abused foster child, I've handled about 20 of these cases, written a bunch of articles, and it motivated me so much, I decided to write a film. I'm also a writer, and uh, mm -hmm. I wrote a film, and I'm lucky enough to have the amazing Shaq, who picked this up and said, yeah, how do I get involved? And he has All been right. a friend. And, and you can have the first announcement, by the way. Uh, we are having our... Uh, uh, on September 10th, we're having our premiere in Chicago and L.A. for the film Foster Boy. Oh, very you're exciting. The first, you're the first one to know because we just found Well, thanks yesterday. for the scoop. I appreciate that. Going to be in September. <laughs> I want to show people again your website is lawinjury.com where people can go if they want to uh, donate some duffel bags, backpacks, anything to help these kids. J. Paul Deratani, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Sally. Thanks for putting it out there.